Okay. As we move on, in God's commandment of us to love others, we read in Matthew 5, verse 43 to 48. And you have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that he may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So here we see, God gives us two choices. <laughs> so, he, at the end, he is going to be the judge. Amen. Right now, the just and the unjust. He sent rain. Yes. Until, you know, so we have to make our own choices. Okay? And, yeah, there's, uh, there's something that um, um, I have found out. That um, <coughs> Jesus tell his disciples, I think it's somewhere he tell his disciples that um, um, you didn't seek me. You didn't seek me. Right? I seek you. The Bible says he came to seek and to save that we just lost. And sometimes too we, we have to be careful in judging people because they ask us questions. Um, sometimes these people and them, they're really seeking for the truth. That's why it's good to be led by the Spirit at all times so that you could be able to minister to them. Right? If we sit down and check some of us, we never want to hear God. He take God <laughs> to lay a hold on us. Right? I mean, I'm talking from experience of my life. Right? Since I eight years I read in the Bible. When I reached um, 11 years, I was a hard drinker. Pulling smoke and tea. And then, I although I read the Bible, yet still, when the Christian came to me, I will argue with them. <laughs> I will start up an argument with them just to get them vexed to leave me. Right? But that doesn't mean to say God conscious uh, that my conscience was not about God. Until some years back, the Lord Himself delivered me, revealed Himself to me, and delivered me completely. Right? Yeah. And the same man I was going to murder that night. Mm -hmm. Is the same man is the first person God led me to, to go to minister to. Mm -hmm. And I say, God, this, can, this cannot be a me. It had to be you. You understand? And we become better friends. So sometimes, God, people speak ignorant. There's something that will come about ignorant. They speak things ignorant, and some of the same people will say later on, God saved them. You understand? Save them. So we have to be wise, you know, we minister to them. And always stick to the word of God. Always try to guard ourselves from um, the temptation of the enemy and anger. And answer them. And sometime again, it's better you don't answer them. Okay, say, well, I'll chat with you next time. Mm -hmm. You understand? You just know it in your spirit that you don't speak to them. Right? It's better that you want to pray and continue to pray for them. Right? Because there's so much people I only feel every day, right? Personal evangelists. I meet everybody. In Trinidad, we do the whole of Trinidad. Go to Grenada, the same thing. Everywhere I go, evangelism. And let me tell you something. You meet all kind of people with different concepts. And because of that, you learn. And there's people, you're surprised to know the kind of question they will ask you. Right? Question they'll ask you. And through that, I was able to look on singular and find out from the Lord as how to respond to them. Right? And when I when I seek the Lord for them, I'm going to respond to them. The Lord already working on them. Yes. You understand? 
So the question they were going to ask me and want to argue with me, they don't ask me again. You understand? Because the Lord started to work on them already. You know? Because you see what's saved. You see, if my spirit will join you, you can't come to me. Right? Yeah. I get the same kind of temptation at home with my husband. And he's active, you know, ignorant, as if he doesn't know. And I say to him, you act as if, you know, Jesus is not real. But the first thing, let something happen to you. And the first thing is the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anything happen? Jesus. So why are you calling on Jesus then? Yeah. <laughs> One, one thing that we have to understand here is that the people who are not saved, not seeking Jesus, like in your case, you said that, 